Hey everybody, what is up and welcome to Rock Gamer. And I want to do a run through today showing you how Guitar Hero TV works. I don't think anybody's really done a good run through on YouTube. And I did one a while back, way before the game came out. So I want to do an upgraded one to show you guys exactly how it works because it can get a bit confusing. So as soon as you launch Guitar Hero Live, you're going to come to this menu where you can choose between GH Live, which is the single player portion of the game. That one features real live crowds and about 43 or 44 songs you can choose from. There will never be DLC released for that portion of the game. So if you're wondering, unfortunately, no, you can't get additional tracks for GH Live portion of the game. You can also play multiplayer in that portion too, but you're basically playing the same guitar track and you can play vocals as well. Vocals can also be played on GHTV and you can also plug in a second guitar if you want to play with another person on GHTV in the same living room. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to GHTV and uh, you'll have to wait a bit. They'll take a couple seconds for the service to load up. I know some people have been complaining that the service doesn't work or they get error messages connecting. I haven't had that issue yet, or if you are having that issue, I definitely recommend you guys talk to Activision and see if you can get that resolved. So as soon as you log in, you'll see like the shows that are currently playing on the channels. There's Definitive Riffs, there's your premium shows, and they do a lot of advertising too. And they try to show you all which songs are available because they kind of want you to spend real world cash to buy songs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the hero button, or the, sorry, the GHTV button on my guitar. So if you click that, you'll come to the main menu. And this is the, mu the main music menu. So you've got new music, song catalog. These two things are basically the same. They're basically all the on-demand songs that are available. And let's just start out with how Guitar Hero TV is structured. So Guitar Hero TV has basically three components. There's the TV channels. There's two TV channels which play uh, basically live streaming shows of random music that you basically just hop right into and you can start playing. And you'll be playing basically along to the music video or a live performance and uh, you'll basically just be playing the guitar part to it. And uh, there's a programming guide that they have available on, on the service as well as on the internet, which I've put down below, where you can see what shows you're playing during certain day times of day. So some are like metal shows. So if you like metal music, there'll be like half an hour of metal. Then there'll be like an indie program, which is just indie music. There may be like a top 40 uh, show as well. So it's a good variety of music that'll appeal to a wide range of audiences. So when we go into here, you'll notice that uh, so I click through music. Now, this is the second part of the service. This is the on-demand library. So if you don't want to play music channels and just play random songs, you have the option of playing whatever songs you want. So all those songs are available in the on-demand category. And there's over 200 or 300 songs available. The catch is that you have to use what are called plays. So as you play Guitar Hero TV, you rank up, you earn more points and experience, and you get what are called plays. And plays are like free tokens you can use to play a song once. So a big question a lot of people ask is, can I download songs off Guitar Hero TV? And the simple answer is no, you cannot download songs like in Rock Band 4 or past Guitar Hero games. So you can't actually own any content yourself. It's all about streaming songs and getting plays as they're called. So if you want to try to, you know, get the high score in a song, you may have to accumulate a lot of plays. Or if you don't have enough play, pay, uh, plays, you'll have to pay real world money to play these songs. That's one thing I don't like about the service, but that's how the service is set up. And uh, you'll see there's a good variety of songs. They're all sorted by, by song name. And you can see the global leaderboard here and see who the best players are and what their scores are as well. So if I exit out of here, you'll see the song catalog category is pretty much the same. It's the same option menu. And uh, you'll see at the top right hand corner of the screen, it shows I'm a level 12. I'm trying to get to level 13. I've got 3,090 hero cash, which is like the guitar hero cash that you use to pay for stuff. And then you've got coins, which you accumulate from playing songs and leveling up. So if I exit out of here, you'll see, um, let's just go back for a second. Sorry, so let's go to plays. So if you don't have plays, you can buy plays. So plays are basically, like I said, tokens to play songs. And see they have different currency. You can use hero cash or you can use coins. Realistically, you technically don't have to pay any money to actually enjoy GHTV. The game is fairly generous with how many coins they give you and how many plays they give you as well. So you have already accumulated something like 38 plays or something. So I could play any on-demand song 38 times before I'd actually have to pay for it or use my coins to buy new plays. So if I get out of here, 
The other and the final component of Guitar Hero TV is called Premium Shows. So Premium Shows are updated weekly. There's always new shows. So we just had Christmas this past week. So they had two Christmas themed shows. And typically the Premium Shows last for about a week or so. And there's a couple ways you can play them. So if we go into the Premium Shows, you'll see they have a couple right now. They got a Weezer live show on. And they only last for a limited amount of time. So there's three days left here. There's a Christmas Rocks Premium Show that's three days left. And there's a couple ways you can play them. So if I wanted to play the Weezer one, I can either pay 210 in Hero Cash, or you can complete challenges. It says, or get three stars on any difficulty on the following songs. So they show No Shows by Gerard Way, Lazare by TV on the Radio, and Band of Skulls Asleep at the Wheel. So if you don't want to pay money to enjoy the premium show, you can go into the On Demand library, play those songs, and get the uh, get the get the achievements. I mean, you know, three starring these songs in any difficulty is not very hard. So if you don't want to pay money, you don't have to. So getting out of here, the other thing you'll notice too is that there's always bonuses for playing these premium shows, like earn a plus hundred status for five songs. So if you play this premium show, there's a bonus to playing it. And if you get a certain score, you may also get like a special kind of track as well or a special kind of highway. So getting out of the premium shows, uh, the one thing I will say, the premium shows, once they're actually completed, they a lot of them tend to go into the on-demand library. So once the Weezer show is finished, those songs should transfer over to the on-demand library and then you can enjoy them later on. Um, there have been a handful of premium shows that don't transfer over, but most of them should. So the next part is GHTV Party Pass. So we talked about the on-demand library before. If you want to play any song, you know, you can use uh, plays to play them. Or say you're having a party or you just want to experience all the songs that are available on the service, you can buy a party pass. So the party pass is basically a 24-hour pass. You pay, I think, $5.99 for it. And you can have access, unlimited access, to all the songs on the on-demand library for a period of one day. So it's a good way to get a sense of what's available on the service, maybe what kind of songs you like and what songs you don't like. And it's a good way to experience what's on the on-demand library. And then you'll see, like I said before, advertising throughout the entire game. There's all these recommended songs like Warrant by Cherry Pie. Even when you're playing the channels, it's very much the same as well. The other thing you'll see is the highway. So you can actually customize your note highways and you basically pay for them using the coins you earn. So if you want like a, a, a cave painting, it's 2,500 coins. And then you know, you can, there's more that get unlocked as you keep playing. And there's a good variety of, so once you reach level 18, you'll actually unlock more highways you can purchase. So there's a good deal of customization you can do, even though you can't actually customize a character per se. So going back to the actual main menu, going to the channels. Now this is really the core of the service. The channels, they're like I said, there's two channels. They play music 24 seven. And you can see right now, they're both called channel one. One is called channel one, one is called channel two. There's gonna be a third one added at some point in time. And they, essentially, they basically show what's playing. So between now and four o'clock is the essential rock. So they're playing the Pretty Reckless right now. The next show is gonna be Metal Connections, Iconic Anthems, Most Played Rock. So if I alternate between the channels, and then Channel 2 is playing Essential Rock. They're playing Indie Influences After, GHTV 2015, so the best of 2015. They've got Pop Melodies. So there's a good variety of shows that are actually being played. And then when you actually go to Definitive Riffs, you'll see you'll be transported right to the music video and you can start playing right away. And then you also have these little hero powers you can choose between. Now when you're actually playing, sorry, getting back, you'll notice that there's like this leaderboard on the left-hand side of the screen. And that basically shows you how you rank up according to these guys who have played the song. And uh, you'll notice there's these white little tick marks next to the guys' names. Those are supposed to mean they're not online. This is actually the first time this has happened. I noticed there was a couple tick marks that don't show up. That means those guys are currently playing online. The other part of the game too is that um, at random increments, twice every half hour, there will be something called Rivals Mode which will show up. So Rivals Mode is like old school Guitar Hero where you play one versus one against a random opponent. So after a song's done, you'll see like the Rivals Mode, it'll say, okay, you're gonna start playing a song against a random opponent and highest score wins. And it's cool, but the only thing I don't like is you can't actually play with a friend and you can't invite friends. It's all randomized and you have no control over it. And you can't choose what songs you play Rivals Mode on. So that's basically the TV channels in a nutshell. Once you actually complete the song, it'll actually have like a, a score system at the end. It'll show you how many coins you've earned and it'll show you like how you are in ranking up. So if we get out of here and we go back to the main menu, you can actually just hit the hero button. So we go back to, we went through channels already. 
So my GHTV is a little bit more customization, so you can actually customize your setup. Like I said, you can change your node highways. You can buy what are called hero powers that give you like a competitive edge, so you can take notes off the highway. You can add more notes to increase difficulty and, and get a higher score. Uh, there's, you know, um, you can get double multiplier, you can get invincibility, you can get a safety net, you can get a score chaser. A lot of these are unlocked at higher levels. So getting out of here and going now to guitar upgrades. So these upgrades um, you can basically buy using the uh, coins you earn from ranking up. So there's, you know, increase the score for each node, increase the maximum multiplier. I'm at current level one for these. So these all have different levels that you can uh, achieve as you get more coins. And uh, so there's only four that show up. And, you know, getting back to the main menu, I think that might actually be it. And then you've got GHTV. Um, so let's go to player cards, guys. So player cards are basically your avatar and what other players see when they're actually being compared to you on the scoring menu. So there's different avatars you can get. So if you play the Avenged Sevenfold Premium Show, you can actually get that avatar. There's like a pro status reward. There's established GHTV status avatar. There's like a good variety of stuff you can actually choose from. I don't want to equip it right now. And then uh, you can also see um, the actual premium. So this is another way to access premium shows. So if you don't want to go to the channels or the music menu, you can just go here and these are the premium shows. And that's basically Guitar Hero TV in a nutshell, guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And as always, if you want to stay up to date on the latest Guitar Hero Live news, Rock Band 4 news, or rhythm gaming in general, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Take care.